Peter Schmeichel managed to speak to Jamal Musiala after the game. Let's listen in. So, Jamal, congratulations, semi final in the Champions League. Thank you. How good is that? It's a great feeling. Uh, we, we as a club haven't been in a semi final in a while, so it's a good feeling. We still have a, a long way to go, but we've made, made the right steps. Arsenal's a very good opponent, seen in the Premier League, and how well they've played throughout the season that they're tough to beat and to get the win now and go advance to the next round is, is good for, for all of us. And you think about the Bundesliga season that you've had, how important is it for Bayern to make this step into the semi-finals? Very important. Uh, like everyone has seen, we haven't had the greatest season, especially in the Bundesliga. So we're trying to do everything in our powers to go as far as possible in the Champions League. What did you think of the young man's performance? It was outstanding. The, his capacity and ability to just uh, bail you out of any problem. If you, if you can't, if you can't just uh, pass the ball out from the back, he just takes it and beat one or two men. And that has nothing to do with your tactic. That's just hit him beating people and beating the line, so you can go up and and, and play. He has that capacity. It, you know, we're not going to to comparing to Ed, Eden Hazard. You know, the, the the capacity to and our ability to you know to to see and I mean his ability and me seeing what he was doing when I was a coach with Belgium. At times, you just give the ball to Eden. Or if you give it give it to Musiala, it will it will bail you out in the in the way that he plays. Especially when we all know. At that moment, that game was, nobody wanted the ball. It, it was kind of weird. He wanted the, that ball at mm. his age. He was turning, not being shy, asking for the ball, keeping, you know, keeping people away with his body, the way he was controlling it and going and going forward with it. So, you know, that's second to none when you're in trouble in a, in, in a game and, and, and everyone is kind of hiding, not wanting that ball. Uh, what a scenario for Bayern manager Thomas Tuchel, by the way, departing at the end of the season, uh, but into the Champions League semi-final. Peter Schmeichel also spoke to him after the game. Congratulations, semi-final. Thanks. How did you see that today? Oh, amazing, amazing feeling and uh, amazing second half. I think the first half was more like a chess game. Nobody wanted to sacrifice any any positions or any advantage or any uh, concede any disadvantage. So it was a bit stuck. And second half was excellent. We played with more personality, a bit more courage, a bit more fluid. And uh, I think we deserved it. And we had more chances, had big chances, and, and, and scored a good goal. And then we were fighting hard for it until the end. How tough was it to play these two games against Arsenal? Super tough. They are one of the very best. I really mean it. They, 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 are, they have so many points in the last two, two and a half years in, in Premier League. They do it consecutive. Um, now they have a little bit of a difficult spell with the last three matches. But overall, you watch their games, they're so fluid. You learn when you watch them, you have joy when you watch them. They get points from it, so it's the full package. And, and that's why it was very difficult. It feels uncomfortable, doesn't it, that managerial situation? Yes, and we, we could have had a situation last night as the same, where two managers, Xavi of Barcelona, Thomas Tuchel of Bayern Munich, know they are leaving the club at the end of the season, being announced a few months ago, and one of them could, you know, certainly Thomas Tuchel now, could go on and win it again, because he has won it before. He's been in another final as well with PSG, and, uh, yeah... It's, it's a really interesting situation because there's no doubt he's a top top manager and he will be in another top job at some stage uh, next season. But it just hasn't worked out for him at all at Bayern Munich in terms of, you know, the Bundesliga and going in there late last season. But what a way to go out. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Uh, Peter Schmeichel also managed to speak to the opposing manager, to Mikel Arteta. Let's listen in. Mikel, thank you very much for, for talking to us. Not what you wish for. How, how did you see that game? Yeah, it's a very disappointed uh, night for us at the end. Uh, because we throw everything that um, that we had, the margins for error in this competition are minimal. We gave two really bad goals away uh, in the first leg, and and that made it more difficult. And tonight we had moments of a lot of dominance. We have, especially in the first half, um, some really good moments. And at the end, yeah, we have to be very disciplined because the way we concede the goal as well um, is not good enough. What do you think is uh, is missing from your from your side? The you're obviously not scoring in this game, didn't score over the weekend. Is it the lack of a, a proper striker or do you, what do you think is the reason for that? No, I don't think so because we've been the, the team that scored more goals in the Premier League. And you're yeah, talking you about like, like this. So from everywhere. 
from everywhere, and yeah. we have to because yeah. the reality is we don't have a striker that's going to score 35 or 40 goals, and we have to live with that. And we have many other qualities. And, and today is a day to stick behind the players because they have given us so much, they have taken us in this journey, and we have still the, the Premier League to play. What do you think is missing for Arsenal? Well, putting the ball in the back of the net, but today there wasn't a lot of chances to do that. I do think that two goal, the two goals at home uh, were were soft to concede, and we all know if you if you if you do those mistakes in a in a in a Champions League, you're gonna you're gonna pay the price. Uh, today wasn't good enough, I, I would say, but I don't think it was much into the game. You could see that the two teams, and I mentioned it so many times, they don't want to lose the game, like they were not really going for it. It was a moment of, I would say, of bad defending for me, not only from uh, uh, Martinelli, because it, it did work at the beginning on one. I, I will put Tomiasu also in that, not covering his centre-back and closing that line, but that's a different ball game. I just think that at one point, I said it before, you asked me so many times as an Arsenal fan, do I think that Arsenal could win the Champions League? Yes, because I, that's hope and wishing. Do I think after that we could, if I take my Arsenal hat away from my head? I said it so many times, when we play three games a week, we struggle. And so maybe it can be a good thing now that we are out for us in the Premier League. But, uh, like I said, are we equipped to play every three days? So what that's, you're saying, you need, more, you need more players, is that what you're saying? Is no, that, that's not what I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that Throughout the last two years, we always went on a run, on a good run, when we didn't have midweek games. I, I think the two games tonight shows exactly what we all say here every year about the Champions League is not just about ability, it's about a mentality as well and a belief that you can do it. I don't believe that Bayern Munich are a better team than Arsenal. And I don't believe Real Madrid are better than uh, Manchester City. But we are talking about a team who have never won the Champions League in Arsenal. And we're talking about Manchester City, who've won it once. Real Madrid have won it 14 times. Bayern Munich are on, I don't know, is that six? Six or seven. They, they just feel like they're supposed to win European Cups. You know, I, just don't, I don't think Arsenal actually went into this tie believing they could get through. I always believed Bayern Munich would beat Arsenal just for the fact of, of the mentality, the size of the club and the history of playing in the Champions League.